Hello everyone, my name is Ronak Patel. I serve as Analytical Chemistry Manager at CS Analytical. Today, I'm going to talk about elemental impurities. Elemental impurities in drug product may arise from several sources. They may be residual catalysts or may be present as an impurities. Elemental impurities do not provide any therapeutic benefits, so their amount in drug products should be controlled. Historically, metals were analyzed through USP General Chapter Heavy Metals 231. This method was introduced in USP 8 in early 19th century, to be exact 1905, and consists of weight chemical screening. This method is very subjective to visual tests based on precipitation of sulfides. This method is unable to detect the presence of metals of great interest such as mercury and seriously underestimates the concentration of other metals. Beginning January 1st, 2018, the USP 231 chapter became obsolete. USP 232 Elemental Impurities Limits sets the new requirement for the concentration level of elemental impurities presence in drug product. CS Analytical utilizes a state-of-art Agilent 7900 series ICPMS system for the determination of elemental impurities in containers and packaging systems. ICPMS's ability to access multiple elements concurrently within the extremely low limit of detection down to PPP level, parts per trillion level, large linear range and ability to detect isotope make it such a unique instrument especially useful tool for the elemental analysis to fulfill regulatory requirements such as those established in USP 661.1, USP 670, USP 232, EP 313, EP 319, USP 232 and much more. The CS analytical theme are expert when it comes to your metals testing requirements especially as they relate to containers and packaging qualification requirements we can help you define the most optimal approach and technique to ensure all regulatory requirements are met when it comes to the metal content analysis once again thank you for watching this video visit csanalytical.com for more useful resources